Welcome to the PRU ICSSG Accelerators Training Module. During this module, we will be discussing the accelerators that are available within the PRU ICSSG, starting with an overview of how the PRU ICSSG cores communicate with the accelerators, and then talking about the basic functionality of each accelerator. The PRU ICSSG accelerators are divided into two categories, data processing accelerators and data movement accelerators. As the names imply, the data processing accelerators help the PRU ICSSG cores more efficiently process data, while the data movement accelerators help the cores more effectively move data in and out of the PRU ICSSG subsystem. As we start to talk about the specific accelerators, we'll see that a few accelerators are shared between all cores in the subsystem, others are shared between the cores in a given slice, but most accelerators have separate instances for each PRU ICSSG core. Please note that there are some differences between the accelerators that are supported for different cores in the PRU ICSSG, as well as between different devices. The accelerators associated with each PRU ICSSG core can be found in your device technical reference manual or TRM. The PRU ICSSG cores all use a special interface called broadside interface to communicate with the accelerators. The broadside interface is optimized for wide data transfers of 32 bytes and enables single cycle access to the accelerators. This allows the broadside interface to move more data at a faster rate than the conventional load store interface that is used to access all other subsystem and SOC resources. The firmware uses a special set of instructions called XFER to access the broadside interface and the accelerators attached to it. The XFER instructions include 1. XIN, which is used to pull data from the accelerators, 2. XOUT, used to push data to the accelerators, and 3. Exchange, which is used to simultaneously swap or exchange data between the core and the accelerator. This exchange instruction is new on PRU ICSSG compared to the previous generation PRU ICSS. How do we use this broadside interface? Each accelerator is assigned one or more broadside or device IDs. This ID is a required argument or parameter for the XFER instructions. It indicates to the broadside interface which accelerator the PRU core intends to communicate with. The broadside IDs associated with each accelerator can be found in your device technical reference manual or TRM. The PRU ICSSG supports a wide variety of data processing accelerators. The functionality of these accelerators range from managing system events to providing fast memory access and performing data translations to calculate CRCs. As discussed in earlier training modules, the PRU ICSSG is the next generation subsystem to the PRU ICSS, building on the features and capabilities of the PRU ICSS. The table on this slide lists the data processing accelerators that are available on PRU ICSSG and shows which accelerators are new or upgraded compared to the previous PRU ICSS. As indicated in the table, a few accelerators were specifically created to assist with industrial Ethernet applications, although they can also be leveraged for general purpose applications. Let's next discuss each accelerator in more detail. As you might remember, the previous PRU ICSS had a polling-based interrupt controller to manage events. This interrupt controller is still available on PRU ICSSG. However, there is also now a task manager accelerator to support preemptive interrupts and event-based context switching. The PRU ICSSG cores each have its own dedicated task manager block to help manage context switching for the associated core. The task manager supports three priorities, low, mid, and high. There are also multiple subroutines within the mid and high priorities. The recommended configuration is to assign a background task to the lowest priority subroutine and allow higher priority tasks to then preempt it. The PRU ICSSG 
has a predefined list of events that can be mapped to any subroutine in any priority. The block diagram on this slide shows pseudocode for how to use the task manager. When a higher priority event occurs, the task manager automatically saves the current program counter and flags and provides a new program counter to start a new task. The firmware is responsible for saving off any internal registers it will override during the task. When the firmware completes this task, it needs to restore the internal registers, issue the command xin252 to signal the task manager that the subroutine is complete, and then issue four no-op commands. The task manager will then auto-restore the program counter and flags. While we're on the topic of event management, let's quickly talk about the interrupt controller that's available in both PRU ICSS and PRU ICSSG. The int c interrupt controller is not considered an accelerator as it is not connected to the broadside interface. However, there were upgrades made to this submodule in PRU ICSSG. As shown in the table on this slide, the number of supported system events, channels, and host interrupts was increased compared to the previous PRU ICSS. This upgrade was made to better support the additional cores in the PRU ICSSG. There are also host interrupts added to issue an event to the new task manager. The next data processing accelerator is the Scratchpad memory. You may remember that the previous PRU ICSS also had a Scratchpad memory. This accelerator is used to move data extremely quickly between cores within the subsystem. The Scratchpad memory contains multiple banks, each comprised of 30 32-bit registers. The number of banks, however, differs between devices. In the previous PRU ICSS, reading and writing to the Scratchpad had to be done as separate instructions. In PRU ICSSG, this can be done in a single instruction exchange, making the Scratchpads even more efficient. The PRU ICSSG also supports an IPC Scratchpad, which allows up to 32 bytes of data to be transferred between a PRU and RTU within a given slice. The PRU ICSSG supports a new type of RAM called Broadside RAM. Because this RAM is attached to the Broadside interface, it has the lowest access latency of any PRU ICSSG RAMs and supports 32 byte writes. The PRU ICSSG cores each have their own dedicated Broadside RAM, although the size and number of Broadside RAM instances differs between devices. The PRU ICSSG also has a 32-bit SUM accelerator called SUM32 that can be used to calculate a UDP checksum in Ethernet applications. This accelerator continuously monitors and sums data writes to the broadside RAM. Each PRU ICSSG core has a SUM32 accelerator, although the number differs between devices. The filter database, or FDB, helps accelerate switch function learning for Ethernet applications and performs hardware lookups of VLAN ID and HSR and provides port mapping. This accelerator is a shared resource in PRU ICSSG. However, the accessibility differs between the different PRU ICSSG cores. For example, the PRU cores are the only cores that can access the FDB RAMs and require a spin lock to notate which core owns the access at a given time. The RTU cores can only read the FDB lookup results. While the FDB accelerator is primarily used for Ethernet applications, it does support three modes, some of which could be leveraged for general purpose applications. The three modes are FDB lookup table, general purpose 16-byte compare, and generic broadside RAM. The FDB contains two memory banks, bank 0 and bank 1. These banks can independently be configured as a lookup table or general purpose memory. The byte swap accelerator allows the PRU ICSSG cores to quickly reorder data. For example, it can convert the endianness of a register or swap content between registers. This accelerator was developed primarily to help accelerate Ethernet operations, 
but can also be used for general purpose applications. The PRU ICSSG also has a spin lock accelerator to allow fast signaling and resource sharing within and between PRU ICSSG subsystems. The spin lock accelerator has 64 ownership flags that are shared by slice 0 and slice 1 within a given PRU ICSSG subsystem. Similar to the previous PRU ICSS, the PRU ICSSG includes a multiplier with accumulation and CRC accelerator. Both of these accelerators, however, have several upgrades compared to the previous PRU ICSS. The only change to the multiplier with accumulation is that it fixes a carry flag limitation that existed on the previous PRU ICSS. The CRC accelerator adds support for the CRC16 CCITT polynomial and adds a FIFO to allow for 32 byte pushes. Let's now look at the data movement accelerators. The PRU ICSSG also has three data movement accelerators to assist with moving data in and out of the PRU ICSSG more efficiently. All of these accelerators are new to PRU ICSSG compared to the previous PRU ICSS. The first data movement accelerator is XFER to VBUS. This is a very simple accelerator that allows the PRU ICSSG cores to transfer data to or from SOC resources outside of the PRU ICSSG using the local broadside interface. This accelerator is a shared resource for all PRU ICSSG cores and provides the lowest read latency path to and from the MISMIC SRAM and is considered a real-time DMA. There are several advantages to using the XFER to VBUS accelerator. The first is that it allows up to 64 bytes of data to be transferred to the PRU ICSSG cores registers in a single cycle. Another advantage is that the data reads are non-blocking. This means that the PRU ICSSG cores can continue to process other data until new data has arrived at the XFER to VBUS accelerator. As you might remember, the traditional PRU read method using the LBBO or LBCO assembly instruction is a blocking operation. The PRU ICSSG devices also have a packet streaming interface or PSI to offload the data movement process to or from SOC level peripherals. This accelerator serves as a non-real-time DMA transferring data to and from the navigator subsystem within the SOC. Each PRU and RTU core have a path to the PSI accelerator, although the number of transmit and receive paths differ between the PRU and RTU cores, as well as between devices. After the data path has been configured once, it can be used repeatedly with no further overhead. The final data movement accelerator is the XFER to TR ring accelerator. This accelerator is only available on the RTU cores and helps manage a set of transfer requests or TRs, which are then used by the SOC's ring accelerator to pass packets between a producer and consumer. At a high level, the PRU ICSSG uses the XFER to TR accelerator to copy predefined TRs into a work list used by the SOC's ring accelerator. Both the predefined TRs and work list are stored in the PRU ICSSG's shared RAM. For more information and to get started with the PRU ICSSG, visit the link shown on this slide. For PRU ICSSG support, visit the E2E forums.